Welcome back to our channel guys. Today's topic is all about the elements of design. What are the elements of design? Now let's go to the meaning of elements of design. Are the components or part which can be isolated and defined in any visual design or work or work of art. They structure and carry the work. That's the elements of design. Following the seven basic elements of design which are common throughout the field of designing. The point, line, shape, forms, space, color, and texture. A point or mark is the smallest and the most basic element. It can vary in size, value, regularity, or irregularity and can be used alone as unit in a group. A line is a form with width and length but no depth. Artists use lines to create edges and outlines of the object. The direction of a line can be convey can convey a mood. Broadly lines can be categorized into three types horizontal, vertical and diagonal. Example of horizontal lines are calm and quiet. Example of vertical lines, lines suggest more potential for movement. Example of diagonal lines strongly suggest movements and give more of a feeling of vitality of a picture. Shape is defined as an area that stands out from the space next to or around it due to defined amplified boundary or because of difference of value, color or texture. A shape is formed when a line encloses an area. Shapes have two dimension, length and width and can be geometric or freeform. Forms describe volumes and mass or the 3D aspects of the object that take up the space. Form can and should be viewed from any angle. For example, when you hold a ball or a baseball ball or a small sculpture, you are aware of their curves, angle identification and edges. Space is a 3D volume that can be empty or filled with objects. It has a width, height, and depth. Space that appears three-dimensional in 2D painting is an illusion that creates feeling of actual depth. Several techniques can be used to show such visual depth or space, for example, overlapping, linear, perspective, and etc. Other example of linear perspective and aerial atmospheric perspective. Color has three properties. The first is U, which is the name of the colors. The primary U are yellow, red, and blue. The secondary colors are made by mixing two primaries. Intermediate colors are mixtures of primary and adjacent secondary colors. The second property is value, which refers to lightness or darkness. Of a U, the third property is intensity, which refers to the purity of a U, also known as the chroma. Example is the color wheel. In the color wheel, there must be value of each color. Texture refers to surface quality, both simulated and actual, of artwork. So texture can be only an illusion, a painting or a drawing of a rock or sandy ground. But it also, a texture can be also actual. And don't go away guys. We will have a little quiz on how much do you know or how much you learn about the elements of design. Please answer the questions in a little while it's coming up.
Okay, so here are the questions, guys, for the elements of design. Remember, it is elements, not the principles. So, number one, a path made by moving a point. Letter A, line, B, shape, C, space, D, texture. Okay, guys, just encircle every letters that is your answer and do not encircle two letters only one okay example your answer is line just encircle the line okay let's go number two texture is the way the surface feels or looks be the area about the object see a path made by moving point none of the above number three question Forms are three-dimensional, they have height, width, and thickness. Some common forms are cylinder, cubes, spheres, cones, B, circle, squares, rectangle, and triangle. C, difficult to draw, D, used for completing paperwork. Number four, by joining lines, you can create color, shapes, spaces, textures. Okay, just select your answer. Number five, shapes are flat. Some shapes are geometric like doors, cars use, and candy. Letter A, B, pancakes, shoe boxes, and soup. C, spheres, pyramid, cone, cylinders. D, circles, squares, triangles, and rectangles. Number six, artists create visual weight in balance, emphasis, pattern, rhythm. Choose the correct answer, guys, by encircling the letter. We have only 10 questions. Excitement and interest in artworks are created using contrast, rhythm, space, or value. Which is the best answer, guys? Number 8. Artists use emphasis to make a certain parts of their work and stand out and grab your attention. The center of interest or is the place of artist draws your eyes to first. Letter A. Focal point. B. Point of interest. C. Attention point. All of the above, letter, letter A. Uh, number nine, bal uh, formal balance is another word for which type of balance? Asymmetrical, radial, symmetrical, geometric. Okay, select the correct answer. Number ten, the last question. A plan for selecting colors for composition is also known as color spectrum, color wheel, color scheme, color mix. Good luck guys and don't forget to send your answered sheets in a JPEG form or soft copy into our Google Classroom, hand it in or send it directly to our email right here in our, in our Google Classroom, okay? And don't forget to subscribe and make a comment. A comment will serve as your attendance and you will be noted. Thank you so much. Ciao.